this is the part that we really want you to hear you can have arthritic hips which give you pain and you can feel hopeful or you can have arthritic hips that give you pain and you can feel worried and the emotional difference will make the difference about your recovery you can have a bankruptcy looming and feel hopeful or you can have a bankruptcy looming and feel desperate and the emotional journey that you are upon will cause the outcome we want you to realize that you have these two concurrent streams running all of the time there is the stream of the action that I am observing there is a stream of the manifestation that I'm observing and then there's my connection to the stream and the way you feel the emotional journey so to speak speaks to your connection to the stream when you make your journey about what's manifested so you insist of course I'm worried because these are the facts that I'm observing now on this action journey you have no latitude you have no leeway there's nothing that you can do other than continue to create more of whatever it is that you are giving your undivided attention to where if you will make your journey an emotional journey where you say oh yeah I've got arthritis in my hips and never mind how that got here but I'm hopeful that it will feel better and I'm anticipating discovering the process that will make that so and I believe that it will come to me and even though I haven't figured it out yet I hope and anticipate that it will be there under that vibrational difference rather than oh yeah runs in our family <laughs> grandma had it mom had it the doctors are telling me I've got it they checked my DNA and told me that <laughs> if I'd asked them they would have told me a long time ago I was gonna get it <laughs> and you know it's one of those things that once you get it you've got it <laughs> not much can be done about it you just sort of have to learn to live with it we say Oh, that's a very different vibration going on within you that's causing you misalignment with the energy stream that pessimistic attitude while fact-based is keeping your signal into that puny little place where even though the stream of well-being is surrounding you and enveloping you you got a whole different thing going on here you're not logging on to well-being you're logging on to the reality that hasn't got anything to do with you so this powerful and wonderful law of attraction is responding to you but we want to explain to you who you are before you even begin to think about how law of attraction is responding to you because you are different than most of you think that you are you were source energy before you came into this physical body but you still are source energy even though you are in this physical body so when you came into this body you accomplished a new you in other words you're housed in all this skin you can see yourself separated from others you think you're individual and in that way and that way only you are and you have a personality and a thought process and law of attraction is responding to what you think and to what you say and to what you do and to what you mean law of attraction is responding to you but as you are moving around here in this physical body knowing what you don't want and therefore knowing what you do want you are as we said a minute ago you are launching these rockets of desire and the inner being from which you came who still exists is experiencing the expansion that you provide for it by the life that you live here do you get that and so you are all day every day causing the inner being part of you to expand because of what you personality here in this human body are living just like you knew you would so what we're wanting you to hear is it does not matter where you stand you can get to wherever you want to be from wherever you are and we also want to say to you don't be in such a rush to get there all at once be willing to take a step and then another step and then another step and then another step because the thing that defeats you more than all other things put together is trying to log on to a vibration that's out of your range right now in other words pull up your feet and move closer to the signal make a decision that's nothing is more important than that you feel good and then work all day every day to find the best feeling thought on any subject that you approach that does feel good so 
that's our best sales job yet. <laughs> that nothing is more important than that you feel good because the way you feel is your indication of your signal. So the signal has a couple of components. How much of it am I asking for by the power of my desire? And how much in alignment with that signal am I? In other words, I want it and believe it. I'm right on being. I want it and I doubt it. Resistance. It's not coming, at least not now. I want it means it's always there for you. I want it means the signal is always available. But the allowing part is the part you tweak into place by reaching for the thoughts that feel good to you. And you can feel when you click into alignment. We said that you can get to wherever you want to be from wherever you are. And we want to say to you something here that is more meaningful than all other things that we will say to you put together all day long. So, oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, you want to hear it, don't you? <laughs> if you will make peace with where you are, you'll lock onto your signal. In other words, if you'll say, okay, here I am. Here I am. Good for me. Not bad for me. Good for me. And from where I am, I now choose this and this and this and this. If you make peace with where you are, Meaning you stop beating up on yourself about it. You stop feeling regret about it. You stop letting it suck the life out of you. You stop letting other people make you feel guilty about it. You stop being defensive about it. If you will make a decision to make peace with where you are, which sort of sounds like this, well, here I am. Simple enough, isn't it? Here I am. Here I am. Feel the difference between here I am on my way to there and here I am, I've been here so long. <laughs> or here I am, I shouldn't be here. Here I am, it's your fault I'm here. <laughs> Quite different vibrational stance. Where here I am, and it's all right. Here I am, and I don't really want to be here, but here I am and it's all right and and it's temporary here I am and it's temporary oh that one feels pretty good doesn't it here I am in this temporary place on my way to better and better here I am pleased with who I am on my way with greater clarity to who I really am in other words you got to find ways to soften your personal perspective of where you are because where you are is the signal that you're beaming. And you got to log on to the signal. You've got to find a way of linking up with this source energy. When you don't, you're off the signal. Source energy believes that well-being should be yours. When you don't, you're off the signal. Source energy adores you. Source energy knows about your well-being. Source energy expects good things to come to you. And when you don't, you're off the signal, you see. You have come forth from your non-physical perspective into what we see as the most dynamic and perfect of environments anywhere. You have come forth into the leading edge of thought. And you did not choose it lightly. You chose it deliberately and powerfully with all of the defining power that you as a source energy being have. And you said, I will go forth into this magnificent physical time space reality of great variety and diversity. For I know within it, I will find so much that I can turn my undivided, meaning my source energy attention to. You said, I know the beauty of this place. And in this place of diversity, the beauty that I'm speaking of is not only the stuff that I think I want, that I would like my nest to be feathered with, but it is the stuff that I don't want that helps me to more explicitly define what I do want. I know that I'm a creator and that I need an environment, a palette of paint, if you will, from which to paint. I know that I need an environment that helps me to focus my mind and choose. 
And I've chosen in this time, in this body, under these circumstances, this time-space reality, because I knew then and I know now that it will evoke within me clear desire and that the larger part of me has now, even now, even now, even now, there it is again, there it is again, become it. I understand here in my physical body, you say, that my work, my only work, is to come into alignment with that expanded being that I am. And when I do, the look of this place is almost beyond verbal description. As I walk amongst the people, I see the variety of who they are, and I see the power and cleverness of who they are, and I see even more that which they are becoming. And so in the war and in the confusion and in the argument, I see not just improvement, I see a new world erupting because I see the expanded version of life as a result of mass consciousness's individual focusing in its individual perspective. I stand in my physical body, you say, and I'm living my life as broadly as I can. And I'm squabbling about salt and I'm worried about this and I'm worried about that. But I am defining who I am by reaching for source energy's perspective relative to each thing that I live. And as I allow myself to come into concert with that which is source, as I live the details of my day-to-day -day life experience, I let myself in on the benefit of all of those generations that have gone before. And most important, I let myself in on the benefit of that which I've created right here, right now, in this body, in this physical time-space reality. As we watch you from our non-physical vantage point, the appreciation we feel for that which you are cannot be accurately spoken in words. But we want you to know, as clearly as Esther can find the words for us to express to you, we want you to know that everything that you are living is causing an expansion of that which you are and therefore an expansion of that which we are. And we revel in that expansion. We never for a moment mourn you're not coming along with us. We never for a moment, frankly, even notice that you haven't come along. We do not look back and wonder if you're there. We only look in our undivided fashion at that which you have carved out because we know that as we look at that which you have become and hold a steady gaze upon it and offer a vibration only about that, that if you're listening carefully enough, you will catch the call of source and you will begin moving in the direction of it. And maybe some of you will move closer in the direction of it today and maybe some of you will not move there until you croak and come all along but every single one of you without exception will come along with that which you we you we have created and in all of that is joyful joyful expansion you did not come into these bodies to have growth you came into these bodies because growth was inevitable and you wanted to enjoy that growth the basis of your life is freedom. You did not come to make something happen. You came forth because you knew the happening would be inevitable and you knew you would enjoy the leading edge perspective of it. Nothing is broken in your world. Nothing needs to be changed. Nothing needs to be different. And yet everything is constantly changing because it is the inevitable nature of that which is eternal. So as you decide to go with the flow of your eternal nature, and as you stop nitpicking about the way in which you go and you just understand that you cannot help but go and you stop comparing yourself to the way others are going and you stop criticizing them because they're not doing it right or criticizing you because you're not doing it right and instead you see yourselves all as adding to the contrast that is adding to the expansion in time you will find yourselves as we find ourselves in love with each and every one of you and when you love others as we love you, you're going to remember what source is because you will be it.